A fire raging through a 14-story apartment building in Buenos Aires, Argentina, early Thursday morning killed at least five people. The first flames broke out in the interior of the apartment, quickly spreading to the kitchen, the bedrooms and a bathroom before reaching the living room upstairs. Firefighters were deployed to extinguish the fire. Authorities say the dead victims due to the fire consist of three children and two women who were part of the Jewish community. Meanwhile, about 30 residents in the apartment had been admitted to different hospitals due to carbon monoxide inhalation. The cause of the fire is still under investigation and as a precaution, authorities have cut off the gas supply to the entire block where the building is located. Water dropping aircraft from Azerbaijan and Qatar on Friday joined the fight against a wind stoked wildfire that burned for a fourth day near a popular resort in the southwestern Turkey. Turkey's forestry minister, meanwhile, says the fire may be close to being contained but said the wind still posed a risk. The fire erupted Tuesday in the Borbudet region near Marmaris on the Asian Sea coast and spread rapidly, blackening swaths of pine forests and driving hundreds of people from their homes. Turkish health minister says on Twitter at least 29 people were affected by the blaze and 12 of them were taken to hospitals for treatment and two people remain hospitalized. More than 2,500 firefighters and 41 water dropping planes and helicopters were deployed to fight the blaze. Ah. A large wall of dust preceded thunderstorms moving through the Phoenix area Thursday as Arizona began its, natural, its annual monsoon season. A number of adversaries and severe thunderstorm warnings were issued for portions of the Phoenix area as the storms moved through. Skies darkened in central Phoenix even as the temperature remained at 42 Celsius degrees. The storm has also brought rain and lightning to various parts of the valley, including downtown Phoenix. Meanwhile, officials of Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport say at least 21 flights are currently held due to the dust storm.